Hello everyone, uh, I'm Crux and I'm going to be showing you a sub bass trick to make your use of sub basses quite a lot easier than it was. And this is a trick in Massive using the bypass function. And for those that have been subscribed to me for slightly longer, you may remember in a video I uploaded probably about eight months ago, I did a video about my war cry thing and to do the sub bass for the bass in that track, I duplicated the track and turned it into a sub so to keep all so as to keep all the automation exactly the same. I'm older and wiser now, I know a better way of doing it, uh, which is what I'm going to show you now. So for the purposes of this video, I'm using an old sound, this Growl 1, it's in my Massive's presets pack, and I also did a video on it called Xcore Get a Growl Bass. The actual sound sounds like this. Um, I'll put the download in anyway, in case you want it. But that's what the sound um, sounds like that we're going to be using. And the issue with using growls and sub basses is that unless you do a completely separate sub, you may find that the filters you're using and also the distortion end up ruining um, the sub bass and its frequencies. So if you're filtering stuff, you might cut out the sub bass for a portion of your song. If you're distorting it with this or this, you may find that you're adding high harmonics to the sub bass you don't want. Um, so this video is showing you how to avoid that um, using bypass. Uh, bypass is something not a lot of people know how to use, but it, what it does is it enables you to completely go past the filters and the effects and um, go back in at a point and skip it all out. So this is perfectly good with sub basses and I'm going to be using oscillator 3 as that. The key with this is that you, you're going to need one free oscillator. If it's got three oscillators, you're going to have to find a way of get rid of one, getting rid of one, um, because you need to have one to actually make your sub sound. So if I so actually, I'm going to show you what it would sound like if I just did it the normal way. So if I, I turn that up, and if I try to make it into a sub by making it a sine wave and putting it down a couple of octaves, maybe. You notice you're getting that sine wave. But you're also getting it stereo widened by this, you're also getting it distorted by that, and you're getting it filtered with these. That's terrible as a sub bass. Um, so, what you don't want to be doing that, and together it doesn't improve it a lot. So, the way you're actually going to do this is you're going to mute the output, you're going to go into the routing, which I've already selected here, and then you're going to change the B so it's on oscillator 3. Oscillator 3 is, of course, our sub channel here, and what it this little B here means it's going to bypass, we're going to follow the orange line, it's going to bypass these, it's going to bypass both the inserts, it's going to bypass effects 1, or at least it will do in a moment, and it will go back in at the EQ. Now yeah, set it back in at the EQ, click that. So now the sound's going out of here, past these, and back into there. So now we're not doing any of the stereo widening, any of the distortion, or any of the filters or the inserts, and it might actually sound quite good. Uh, if I now press a note with these muted, I'm not going to get a sound. Silence. Uh, but to turn your sub up, you're going to need to increase this. It is a sine wave, it's very low. I'm going to put up an octave just in case you're on a small pair of speakers. It's slight clipping. Uh, but you can hear that is not being distorted or stereo widened at all, and that's the, what we're going for here. And this means we can now put these over the top. And we've now got a nice subby bass sound. Um, there's a few things I'm also going to go over, because that's basically all that this video is, it's a quick one. Um, you, the amp is all the way down, as you can see. Uh, if you bring it up, basically this oscillator now has two volume controls. You've got the standard volume control, which is the process sound with all the filters. So if I, so you can hear when I bring that one up, it distorts. And your second volume control is the bypass, um, which is the one we've just been doing, and that is turning up your bypassed um, oscillator. So you can actually turn it up twice if you want. Um, but if if you're doing it the way I want to in this video, you can only want to do it on this one. And there's a few other things we might want to do to this sub. Uh, firstly, you can change the um, the bypass mod. You, you may know if you're a massive user, which I assume you are at this point, that envelope 4 is set onto the output amp. So if I. Hang on, I'm just turn these on now. Um, these. 
you can change the amp of the output. Um, and because we've also got a separate volume output for this third oscillator, we can also do it to that one. Um, by default it's on 4 as well, so they both do the same thing. But I could set it to 3, and I'll show you the difference here. If I go into 3, boost that up, go into 4, and knock that down, you're, you're here when I bring this up, you can see how the difference is. So we've got a separate envelope depending on which ones we're doing. That's one trick you can do. Uh, the other trick I'm going to show you, which is more of a general sub bass thing, is a pitch pitch envelope. Uh, find one you're not using, like number one. Stick it on there, stick it up about 24, let's say. That sounds terrible because you need to bring the level down. And then you've got a nice bit of a thud, a thud to the start of your sub bass. Um, and that's it really. Now when you bring all the oscillators back in, you can adjust your volume of your sub with this. And so there, yeah, that's how you uh, are going to get a good sub bass with any bass with only using Massive. You don't need to duplicate any tracks or anything. And this will, should vastly simplify uh, your projects in whichever door you're using uh, and will eliminate all the duplicate tracks you might have been using. So I hope that helps you out, and I will see you next time. And do subscribe if you found this useful. And um, I should be giving you more sound design, maybe a few more small tip videos like this. So goodbye.